whoever you need to be with Vital. Welcome back to Expresso, live on SABC3. If you've just tuned in, you are just on time because I'm chilling with our guest, our special guest for today, who is former Miss South Africa, and she just blew up, went to being editor, lifestyle and fashion ed and entertainment editor of both Prestige Magazine and the New Age newspaper. She's a, new, she's a businesswoman who's just doing like so many things. The list goes on. She totally epitomizes that women can do everything at once. I, Claudia Henkel. Multitask, multitask. Multi, multitasking like crazy. Absolutely. But we were talking about you know, mm. how it all started for mm. you as a plus Macy in Pretoria. Yeah. That is it. Very, very much. And you so. told me you used to wake up at like two o'clock in the yeah, morning. Yeah, I mean, I was such a, I mean, I was studying law at the time. And um, I find like if you study in the day, there's always something you want to do. There's something you can go do. You can go to gym or you can want to see friends. So yeah. I used to wake up at one in the morning. And then I'd study by a little fireplace till about eight. And then I'd sleep. So during that seven hour gap when it's pitch dark and no one's awake, yeah. I got quiet time and I actually succeeded like that. So while most students were out partying, yeah, having, yeah. I mean you studied in Pretoria, Dux yeah. with Nooks. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Have you heard that? <laughs> no, now I just heard it. <laughs> <laughs> but while students were out there having a good time in Hatfield Square, yeah. you were studying. Yeah, were look, I mean I took it quite seriously. I had left, I mean I left my matric and I went overseas to model. So when I got back, when I completed my matric, yeah. I wanted to go straight into law and uh, kind of modeling took a back seat. Okay. And I was like, I'm never modeling again. I don't want to see your ramp. I don't. I was just over it. And then in the second year of law, it just happened again that I started. It was not my main focus. You know, it became more like a little hobby, and it was good. And then you were headhunted. Then you went to Milan. Mm. And you mm. came back. And then Miss Essay came. Exactly. But tell me, when was that like that tipping point? Because there must have been a point when you real, when you realized I've got so much publicity. I've got so much talent. Mm. I'm clever. Boom! I've got to do something. <laughs> well, with it's this. not like I wake up and say I'm beautiful. I'm clever. I'm confident. Let me yeah, do but it. But I mean, when it, when it all <laughs> just came together into a chemical reaction. Yeah, I think that. The opportunities um, are there. I think um, Miss South Africa obviously creates a platform. It's, it, it obviously what you do with it. Um, and I got to a stage where I had kind of a crossroad. I could actually stay in the modeling world and pursue an entertainment career and do, you know, that kind of, and, or I could go into the corporate world and climb the business, you know, the business corporate ladder. And I decided to do that just because I'd studied and I enjoyed it. And obviously I used Miss South Africa's leverage to actually gain what I wanted to do. I've got my own PR and events company. Amazing, yeah. Yeah, so it's... Um, where, where does your true, true True passion, like I mean, businesswoman, model, lawyer. <laughs> sort uh, of a combination of the two, of all the three. You know, I think that you have to have kind of a balance. You can't be completely focused in the corporate world. Um, and I like to do the odd modelling job as well. So uh, you know, as long as you do a little bit of everything, then I think you, you remain sane. Otherwise, it, it's mundane. I must say, it's it's no wonder that there's no wedding band on your finger because <laughs> you're so busy. Not not because you're unattractive. No, no, no. I mean, you, you're so busy. Like, how does anyone ever get, like keep you in one place? <laughs> Are you in a relationship at the moment? Um, I am, yes. Oh, mm. the whole it's of South early, Africa. Early days, and the audience rate is <laughs> drop. Oh, no, I'm joking. But how long has it been? Who is he? What's his name? What does he do? Um, <laughs> well, wait, in no particular order. Um, I'm not going to tell you his name, but it's oh. two months and it's honeymoon phase and we're very, very happy. Look at the, You can actually see the no, glow in her face me. <laughs> when she says that. I love it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. But congratulations. That's very nice. But I mean, more than that as well, mm. you do give some of your time to worthy causes. You're an ambassador. You're, you know, yeah. Tell me about that. You know what? I think that um, obviously through the new age as well, um, mm. we try to concentrate on doing you know, events in such a way that we can support worthy causes. But, you know, as a patron, I was the patron of Izindaba, I was the patron of Tapa Loko AIDS Hospice during my reign. Mm. And obviously you appear on behalf of other charities like Chuck and Reach for a Dream and so forth. And you make yourself available. I always believed in not necessarily supporting one charity, but making myself av available for a variety of them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we do appearances and we do what we can. I'm absolutely like, amused and amazed. Do you do normal stuff like, <laughs> I don't know, like uh, shopping with your girls, cook? Do you, yeah. do you cook? Oh, yeah. that's, do you cook? I love cooking. How good is your no, cooking No, skills? that's good, eh? I'm a blast, Macy. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you want to prove that? Can you prove that right I can, now? I can. Okay, so I'm going to let you go, go out to our kitchen right cool. now because Fr Chef Franck Dangerou <laughs> is waiting for Claudia right now. She's going to strap on an apron and let's see what she can do when she's faced with... A, I think there's salad involved, there's spinach, there's mushrooms, there's bacon. It's going to be a lot of fun. Check this out. <laughs> 